Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your Chromebook to connect to database servers. This is helpful for developing database driven software and administering databases. The software we will be using to accomplish this is dBeaver a free and open source universal database tool for developers and database administrators. It has the ability to connect to tons of different types of databases. So there's a good chance it can be the only database tool you'll ever need. So let's begin by going to the dBeaver website and download the latest version of dBeaver. Open up a browser and go to dBeaver.io. Click on the download button we see two versions of dBeaver. There's a community edition and an enterprise edition. The enterprise edition costs money and offers some extra features like NoSQL support, Amazon AWS cloud integration, and more. To see a full comparison of the differences, go to dBeaver.com forward slash edition and check out the comparison chart. Okay, so on the download page, scroll down to the Linux version and click on the Linux Debian package 64-bit installer. ARM Chromebook owners will probably be better off installing the Flatpak. You can see here that an ARM64 download is available, but it might require a more involved installation process. If you have Flatpak set up on your Chromebook, open up a terminal and type this command. This will install dBeaver for you, and it will then appear on Chrome OS's app launcher. This command will also work with non-ARM Chromebooks too. To find out if you have an ARM Chromebook, check out my video showing you how. And if you want to set up the ability to install flat packs on your Chromebook, also check out my video for doing that. Links will be provided in the description. Okay, so back to the downloading method. I had clicked on the Debian package and a .deb file started downloading. When it's finished, go to the folder it was downloaded to and right click it. Then click on install with Linux. Click install again and wait for the installation process to finish. Once it's done, you will see dBeaver in your app launcher and you can run it from there. So here we have dBeaver open. Let me now show you how to set up a database connection to a MariaDB server. The process will be pretty much the same for any database, but after the MariaDB connection, I'll also show you how to connect to a SQL Server database. Let's begin by clicking on the new database connection icon on the top left of the screen. On the window that comes up, you will see some database categories to set up. You can click on these categories to see what databases you can connect to. I'm going to connect to a MariaDB database, so I'll click on the popular category, then click on MariaDB. In this screen, you have to enter the DB settings for your MariaDB server. Type the IP address or host name in the server host text box. If your server uses a different port other than the standard one used by MariaDB, then change it. On the database text box, type the name of the database in the server you want access to. Under authentication, enter your username and password. If there are any other specific settings you need to configure, contact your database administrator to find out what else is needed. Click finish when you're done entering your settings. A new database will appear in the database navigator. I see mine called Lutech test. Click on the arrow next to the database name. In order to connect, dBeaver needs to download drivers. I'm asked to download the MariaDB drivers here. I'll click on download and the database connection is now made. You can now browse and modify your database. So to show you exactly how similar the process is for other databases, I'll now set up a connection to a SQL Server database. Click on new database connection again. In the categories, I'll select popular and then choose SQL Server. I'll enter my DB settings, then click on finish. A new database connection will appear alongside my MariaDB connection. Now to download the SQL Server driver. Click 
click on the arrow next to the SQL Server connection, and then click on Download here. And we're done. I now have access to my SQL Server database. To make connections to other databases, just search for the database type you want to connect to in the Category section of the setup process. Using the same method, I was able to connect to an IBM DB2 database. So you now know how to set up databases. However, I'm getting some graphical glitches when I'm trying to view table properties and data. We can fix these issues. But before I get to that, please remember to like this video if you want to see more content like this. Also, hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon right next to it so you can get alerted when a new video comes out. Okay, so about those graphical glitches I spoke about. If I try to view or manage one of my databases, I get a whole bunch of flickering, making the program very difficult to use. Let me show you how to fix these issues. It's not as easy as disabling hardware acceleration because that does not work. We need to create a custom launch icon with some different commands. Open up a terminal window and type the command you see on screen. If this command does not work, then install the nano text editor by typing sudo app get install nano. Then try typing the command again. On the window that comes up, type the text I'm pasting into the document. I'll have the text in the description so you can copy and paste it too. Save the file. Now, a new dbeaver icon called dbeaver sommelier will be in the app launcher. Running this new icon will fix the flickering that occurs while using dbeaver. So now you can use your Chromebook to browse and manage databases. Let me know in the comments if you found this useful and what you are using it for. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.